This my new favorite combo. Especially with women like you. Hey boo, so jumping right in, I'm going to get started with skincare. I'm just going to spray some of my Avo Cosmetics Botanical Toner on a 4x4 and wipe this around my mouth so it doesn't be looking all dry. I don't have any skincare on. And of course, I'm going to be rocking me my eye patches, girl. My Dermatology eye patches. Baby, period. Because my eyes need to be deep puffed. And boy, do these get the job done. So I'm going to just rock these real quick while I do my brows. Okay, the brows are fire. So now it's time to move on to skin prep. These things are so miraculous i promise you priming with the bobby brown bobby brown face base this is acting as my moisturizer as well put a little bit of the eye base on i feel like the darkness the little darkness that i do have under my eye is fading away with um time using this because i haven't been using anything else like i don't use anything else well the eye patches help as well so milk hydro grip i'm gonna put this on the nose like all in this area right here i have a little bit of contact dermatitis right here and oh my god it's bothering me so bad right now that i put that on one thing that i have found helps a lot with my skin is just leaving it alone right a lot of the times we feel like I gotta do this and I gotta do that and I gotta fight the light and I gotta fight the dark spot and you're using all this stuff and you're just not giving your skin a break and you're not giving it a chance to breathe so I like to do that a lot when I am in the house I like to just like let air get to my skin of course wash it with soap don't get in the comments embarrassing yourself now saying how you just wash your face with just water okay not cute but yeah i'll just like wash it with my clarifying cleanser and then that's it and that's something that you can do like while you're in the house because if my skin starts feeling too dry i can always just like hit it with my botanical toner and like moisturize it right so that's why like i didn't have on skincare and i had said to myself i'm like oh i gotta put some moisturizer on my face before i leave the house because again you know, it's okay to let your face get air if you're in the house, but that's not cool going outside like that. Like when you go outside, you need your moisturizer on. If it's winter time, you need a thick one. You need your sunscreen, your sun protectant, your sunblock. Girl, in a rush, I left out the house forgetting to put the moisturizer on my face. When I got out in the elements and that cold wind hit my face, I did like this, scratch, scratch, like just with the tip of my nail, like absentmindedly, right? Baby, when I tell you the contact dermatitis hit immediately, face probably started itching because of the cold weather. And then when I scratched it, girl, the face began acting up so bad. I literally had to like put bottled water that I had in my car on my face until I got back home. And then I got home and I've been working on it ever since just using my CeraVe hy hydrating cleanser and my botanical toner and I've been using my Suasu mask and I have been using Vaseline. It's been taking a while to go away, okay? Like this just stung it just a little bit. And that's just so shocking because that Suasu had mask heals just about everything. I had um, was using too much lip plumper and when you do that it tears your lips up and not too much like on the actual lip where you have like the crusty cracked dry lips no like the the border the perimeter of my lips were just ate up so bad baby i put this on there for like an hour or two it healed it right away this stuff is such miracle mask like any scabs, any hard, dry, crunchy skin, it heals it right away. Okay, now that my primer has had a chance to just sit on my face for a little bit, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundation. And I want to just put this on today just like by itself. I would usually like mix my foundations, but I actually want to just go in with this because this is brand new. So I want to kind of see what it does on its own. Then this is a good way to see if it builds up. 
result too. Okay, I did have to add a little bit of this MAC Studio Radiance because I just wasn't liking the way it was looking. I had a feeling it wasn't going to work right with the primer because of the applicator because, you know, you have to kind of like swipe it on and you see I kind of like always dunk my brush in the foundations and stamp it in. So yeah, this is really pretty though. Um, especially like against just the skin with your skin care on and stuff. But you know, the way I layer my primers, you know, I have to like do the stippling and you can't with that applicator. So but this my new favorite combo though, I'll tell you that. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown Skin Full Coverage Concealer and this is in the shade Golden. All right, now let's go in with the Dior Backstage Concealer in shade 2W. Let me just put this on the side of my nose. Tip of my nose. And then I'm gonna dot it right up underneath the bag. So before I go into powder, I'm going to prime my eyelids really quickly. Make sure that the concealer is not creased. Alright, let's set. I'm going to use my Chanel Libre in number 30. And this is my Sasha Buttercup because we are doing a more glamorous look today. We want to do a brighter powder. This is going to just get swept away and you know it's some people that try to say you know you can't use a lot of powder well it just depends on what powder you're using and where you're using it and how you're using it. You got to be careful when you accept beauty tips because a lot of them are one size fits all and then a lot of them are not one size fit all. It depends on the skin type and preference and what you want different things like that like your face shape you know what I mean because I have done makeup for women of all ages and I've used powder on them right so what this is doing is um, warming up to my skin it's going to act as um, a shield for for shadow like messing up the foundation and everything it's adding a little bit of color to my face because a lot of people are always asking me like what is fake what is fake okay now i want to add a little bit of contour i am going to chisel my face out today this is my mirrored makeup palette blush and highlight palette i'm just going to keep this toward the back just a slight chisel i'm going to take my red and apply my high blush and i'm just doing like a stamping motion buffing it out So the trick with the high blush is you have to run it into your eyeshadow just a little bit. Now that complexion is done, it's time for eyes. We're definitely going to be using the Pat McGrath today. I'm going to grab the Juvia's Place Coffee Palette too so that I can get a brow bone highlight. And if you know me, you know I like to put white on the inner corners of my eye as a base layer step. Now I'm gonna take the Coffee Shop palette and just put a little bit of brow bone highlight on. Actually, let me use my brush that I said I was gonna use by using. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and go into this beauty right here. So let me take a minute to tell you why this is the absolute best palette to have ever. Okay, one is small, it's compact. You could take this with you and you could do multiple looks. You could do jazzy, you could do simple, you could do naked nude, you could do glittery, you could do smoky, like, oh my God, you could do pop of color, babe, look. This is the go-to palette if you are going out of town and you need like to go from zero 
to 100 as well, right? And you don't want to be taking all of that makeup and all of them different palettes. This is the one palette that you need. Of course, you need like your eyeliners and your other stuff as well. But with this, I would take this out of town, period, and, and not anything else. Just my lashes, my liner, and stuff like that. Because if I wanted to do like a date night, we got Sparkle, we got Smoky, we got Naked, uh, we got Naked Nude, we got simple, we got pop of color, we just, we got everything right here. So I'm gonna start by going into this beautiful pink. And then I'm just gonna windshield wipe back and forth. And then I'm just gonna work with this color, building it up. Keep a little under the eye, just a little. Oh, stunning. Will you look at this? Look at how smooth and seamless. If, if you wanted to, this is it, babe. You did your base. You did a little wa a wash of color, one little wash of color. You pop it on your lash and you're whipping you out. like. And then if you wanted to, you could take this dark one, smudge the lower lash line, get something sultry going. Like, this is just the palette to have. You probably like, the Kiki, doesn't it? You got this, the same colors. It's not. This is a totally different gold that's in her other stuff, I'm telling you. Like, the lady color. Now I'm going to switch brushes, not colors. And we're going to start, like, intensify the crease. All right, now I'm going to take this beautiful champagne shade. And I'm just going to start swiping it on my mobile lid. I'm just starting slow. This is so pretty. I'm gonna take this darkest one. I just put a little on the outer V like that. Swipe down, then go into the crease a little bit and swipe down. In the crease, swipe down. In the crease, swipe down. And just go back and forth like that and then blend it out. Soften the edges. Man, whisper, whisper, whatever on the brush. So I'm gonna dip into my Jacqueline Hill, Armed and Gorgeous, and I'm just gonna get this pearlescent, pearly white, so pretty. Absolutely stunning. So see, hon, you could leave it here, right? But it's holiday, it's glitter time. Let's go in. Hello. Let's wing it out with our Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. All right, so let's go ahead and dust off this bake. I'm gonna use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish to get that job done. Okay, so we're gonna set and do the lashes. Let me get into the lip combo for today though. This is the mirrored makeup lip combo we will be using today in Candy, Feisty, and Crush. And I'm gonna use a MAC Night Moth um, lip liner. All right, now I'm gonna pop on my mirrored makeup lash. This is in style Fancy. While I'm letting this dry down, I'm gonna be lining my lips. And when you're lining your lips, the purpose is to bring balance, okay? That's the whole purpose of makeup, to be, bring balance and symmetry and camouflage and correction and stuff like that to the face right accentuate was good about you camouflage was not so great so for me 
I line exactly my bottom lip. I line it exactly, you know, how it is. And then I overline the top a little bit because the top lip is small and the bottom lip is big. Now let's go in with shade Candy right in the center and then Feisty. Then brush. So, girl, this is the finished look, and I am feeling like a million bucks. You know, we cannot pull off a simple evening makeup look without a red lip. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to join my free VIP beauty community all about beauty, makeup, skincare, and fashion. You will receive content just like this straight to your inbox for the free. Click like, click share, click subscribe, and I'll be sure to see you on the next one. I've been losing friends and finding peace. Honestly, that sounds like a fair